Welcome students, Tom Harmer here, your accounting professor. And this will be a quick walk through our Accounting 201 online class. This class has two websites, our primary Canvas home web page provided by the college, and also our online homework manager, Cengage Now. There's assignments in Canvas, and there's assignments in Cengage Now. So I'm going to walk you through starting off with our homepage in Canvas and show you how that's organized and how that synchronizes with our Cengage Now Homework Manager site. So here we go over to the canvas at .seattlecentral.edu and that'll take us to our homepage in Canvas. So here we go. When you come into this site, this is what you will see. You may have these modules. These are the modules for each week of the quarter. You can see the whole quarter right there. It starts off with an introduction section and then it goes to week one, week two, week three, week four. And essentially we are accomplishing and completing about one chapter a week for the quarter. Now, across the top of the screen here, these links up here apply to all of your Canvas classes. All of, if your instructor has registered the class in Canvas, then when you go to courses, it will show up right there. Okay, and in this case, there's only this one course. On the left side, you have your home screen, brings you right to here. There are announcements, assignments, quizzes, grades, people in the class that you communicate with, a file section, I'll explain a bit later, and they mention the syllabus discussions, etc. In the center, every module heading has an overview of what is being done that week, any assignments that are due, uh, the reading that's required for that week. So you can review, you can always see what is being done by the week right there for the whole quarter. You click on that week and it brings up the assignments for that week. Read the syllabus. Register and Cengage now. Now there's videos in the syllabus and there's videos in this folder for Cengage now. And you're seeing those and they're being advised that you watch those videos. And then there's a quiz on the syllabus and Cengage now. Unlimited attempts, very easy, just to be sure that we all are on the same page. Then you introduce yourself. I introduce myself to you. After you have submitted your introduction of yourself, then you can see all the other students in the class and who they are. And then we start off this Excel practice because you have to learn Excel. So I created a little training video that teaches you in like 11 minutes, everything you need to know about Excel to do this class. So you start the practice and then next week we have an assignment due. So that's what to do in the welcome section. And then we come to week one and this is true for every week. And each week I have an introduction lecture. It's in a document form. In some cases, I've also created an audio file for it. And it is basically a little lecture on the chapter and it, and it touches on things, especially it gives you the big picture and how that chapter fits into the whole quarter. It, it highlights areas perhaps where the publisher has been a little weak, but it is required and there's items that are in this lecture that can be covered in quizzes. Also, at the beginning of every week, I go to announcements and I copy that lecture and in announcements, when I send you an announcement, it will email you directly whatever I have put in the announcement. So there's an example there of those. But so every week on Monday, you're going to at least by Monday, you will receive the lecture for the week by email. And once you've read it there, you don't need to read it here, but you do need to view it. Because to go from one module, like from week one to week two, you have to have viewed at least everything in the module and any submission assignments that are due have to be submitted before you can proceed to the next week. Okay? So that's how the class is organized. It's by the week. The assignments are shown right here. The assignments in detail are in the module. But you can come up here to the calendar and you can click on the calendar. And I'm just gonna pop over, I've got one already open. 
and you can see the whole week, the whole month, in that calendar, so you can see it in a in another paradigm. I I put in memos here to emphasize what is happening, what to you know the assignments and things like that. This is our week one right here. Okay, this is of course a different quarter, so our days are different. But uh, here on Thursday, week one. I'm expecting you to have done your sin gauge now, that true and false on chapter one. You've just read the chapter and done the true and false. Uh, you have an Excel assignment that is started here, not due till next week. It says due next Monday. And let's see, I've got the Excel quiz. That's due here on Thursday because this is to determine whether you are involved in the class. If you haven't done these assignments on Thursday, Friday is a drop day for students that haven't um, participated in the class. So keep that in mind to get registered in Cengage, do your assignments and get them submitted by Thursday and then I won't automatically be withdrawing you from the class. When you get a 100% refund of your tuition, which I know that you're concerned about and I'm concerned for you too. If you do get dropped, you can re-register and continue with the class. So that's your calendar. And that's another way to see what is due, the assignments that are due in a particular week. So to review, you can find your assignments in the calendar, you can find your assignments in this header, and you can find your assignments in here. And as a final one, you could click on assignments over here on the left, and that would show all of the assignments that are due for the quarter and their due dates and the number of points allocated for each of them right there for the whole quarter. Now, another area that we have here is files. I want to show you files. Because I direct you to this location uh, a number of times in various places. And in files, these are where I've uploaded all the documents that I'm using in the course. So we have this first section here for the syllabus and instructions to start the class. You go into it. There they are. There's your Excel practice, how to submit questions to your instructor, Cengage student tips on how to use Cengage. Here's the syllabus. And here's the instruction video and testimonials for jobs and accounting and a link to finding jobs and accounting. It's a great, great uh, job searching tool in there. Okay, so that's under syllabus. During the quarter, I will post class grades which summarize Canvas and Cengage Now points. And uh, from that, you should be able to calculate your own, but I'll do it for you on this first one after the first midterm. Uh, lecture exercises with solutions. These here are practice exercises that have the solutions in them for every chapter. And so you can come here for a personal study and it's a good tool. Then I have all of the assignments that are in Canvas here. These are the assignments. They have a, like here's chapter one, you notice the XX. The XX in each assignment means that the solution isn't provided. Okay, so you know, and I've used those, and then when you submit those, and I correct them and provide the solutions and the correction that I send back to you. So every chapter has a PowerPoint, and all the PowerPoints for the entire chapter are right here. PowerPoints are another way to to uh, review the material. I use them when in a face-to-face -face lecture. Uh, then we have accounting projects. We have a little micro project that we do the first week, very small little accounting project. And then we do the Evans project. It's a little more practice for this Sullivan project. Sullivan project is, is your big accounting project for the quarter and, and uh, it is submitted in four separate submissions. And then I provide some miscellaneous other links for you there. So that's the file section. Okay. That's kind of an overview of the entire Canvas system. Next, I want to show you how you'd actually open an assignment in Canvas and submit it. And then next, I want to show you how to open an assignment in Cengage Now and submit it. So let's go to week one here. Okay, in week one, I have here the, it's the Excel quiz. It's going to be an assignment here in Canvas. It's an Excel exercise. I double click on that. Okay, and then I have my narrative explanation of the assignment there. And then here's Excel practice and here's the quiz. This Excel practice 
is here for you to study and have a demonstration and training on how to use Excel. Now, if you already know Excel, go and do this practice because this hones you down to what I expect in the class for doing accounting financial statements, how to do underscoring and titling and all of these sorts of things that it's easy, but we all wanna be on the same page. So let's go into Excel practice here. I'll double click on that, open it up. So here's Excel practice. I have a video, just start off by watching this video because it walks you through the whole assignment. I won't attempt to explain it right now. But let's pretend that this was actually the quiz that you did. So you've just uploaded this, you've got it on your computer. The assignment is to save the quiz in a particular file name. So I'm going Alt File, which would be, hit the F, B, save as. A for as, I'm going to my computer and I'm finding some place to put on my computer. All right, and, I, and I'm renaming it down here. Harmer, comma, up. So I've renamed it, last name, comma, first name, Excel quiz. And you'll be doing this on all your Excel assignments by whatever name they are. Okay, and then I do the assignment. I've done that, saved it. Now I come back here to the assignment and I'm coming up here. Now I've already submitted this once practicing for this demo. So I'm going to resubmit the assignment. Okay, I'm resubmitting. In your case, and I can put any comments I want here. Browse, and I know where I'm going here to where I saved it. There it is, double click, submit assignment. And now I have submitted a Canvas assignment. There you go. Now let's move on. Let's come back here and go to a Cengage Now assignment. So here we go. Cengage Now assignments do one, this is week one, get registered, and two, do the true and false assignment homework for chapter one. So I come here, double click on that. And then I'm coming in, I'm, it's remembering mine, I had it save my login. So you sign in. So here we are in Cengage Now Assignments page. And you notice on the left, there's the assignment name. They're all in chronological order by, by chapter. They always begin with your true and false, and then they have an exercises, and then they have a quiz on every chapter. So before you dive into this though, let me give you some tips. I have up here, it says assignments I can practice now. I click on that and this brings up practice, true and false, multiple choice, practice exercises for every chapter. And, and here's a particular bit of information in that I include all of Cengage's questions for true and false, multiple choice in this practice session. And I include all of the exercises and problems in this practice, practice session. So in fact, these are all of the exercises that you will see in your midterms and in your final. So you can come here and in your homework and in your quizzes. So you can come here and practice. A lot of these problems are algorithmic, which means that they're the same words, but they have different numbers. But it's a great place to practice. It gives you feedback. It tells you whether you're right or wrong. And uh, so it's a super place to practice before you're actually doing assignment points okay then after you've practiced you can come back here all the homework is multiple attempts I give you two attempts on true and false and multiple choice which everybody should have a hundred percent yes okay now on exercises I give you three attempts and after your third attempt then it's scoring you as to you know how well you did but it's helping you and advising you and it gives you feedback, it has this little check me now. So what I have here, you see on multiple attempts, it says resume, I've already come in here and started the assignment just to practice for this demo. And so now it's allowing me go back and resume because I had multiple attempts. Resume assignment now, so let's take a look. So when you're in an assignment, this particular one, okay, has, uh, five exercises, okay, and it's why, and you see this is interactive, so you got your textbook there, and so you can be coming up with answers, 
as you read the textbook or if you've read it and you have a great recall, you can do this. So this is a real learning tool here. And they end up with exercises down here that you're doing. And you complete the whole chapter in an interactive format and you're scored uh, in that process. I give you three attempts on all the homework. And then down here, it has check my work. I click on check my work. Of course, I don't think I've answered hardly anything, so everything's going to be wrong. So it's got X's by everything I've done wrong. So it's just showing me what I did wrong. You go back to your textbook to see what the correct process is or solution is. Okay, so, and, and once you're done, you just you submit assignment for grading. And then you can come back after you've submitted your graded assignment, once you've submitted, then you can come back and it'll show you all the solutions with feedback. So it tells you if you're wrong when you're doing it, you have to submit it and then come back later and review to see the actual correct answers with feedback. Okay, there you go, there's Cengage now. Up here you have grades, you can go check your grades on all the work that you've done so far during the quarter. And then you have another area called study tools. This is where the online textbook is if you haven't, don't have the book yet. So you can go to ebook and you can read the book there. Then we have all of these are your uh, video lectures through the chapter. I provide them in Canvas in a separate page, all there. We have some good study tools here. So you can browse around study tools and see what items that you like to use, if any, for your studying process. Okay, so that's a walkthrough of Canvas and Cengage now. And finally here, I just want to give you a heads up on extra credit that's available. So if we come over here to Assignments, and you scroll down to some undated assignments down here. That's where I have my extra credit. Now, this won't show until the end of the class, but I do have a class evaluation. One that you send to the dean, and another which is confidential, and another one that you answer questions that I ask uh, about how the class worked for you. So I give extra credit for that. I have another extra credit area here. I'll go into that one. This one... I give two, it's in two categories. One is where you inform me of an error or any inconsistency or something that you feel is wrong or could be done better. Any feedback like you give me on that, I'll give you one to four points of extra credit depending on how significant it was. I had a, a student in the last quarter that complained about uh, inconsistency between instructions in the Canvas assignment and the instructions that I put in the Excel assignment. And I, she didn't report to me which problem that was, so I'm looking for that. Also, I give extra credit to students who help other students in the class. Uh, but to re if you read the narrative here, it explains how that uh, is accomplished. So if, if you help somebody and they send me an email and say, hey, so-and-so helped me, I really appreciate it, I'll give up to 10 points of extra credit for you helping other students in the class. So there you go. That completes your walkthrough of Accounting 201 online at Seattle Central. I really appreciate your taking the time to watch this introduction video and look forward to your success in the class. Thank you very much.